Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is all about my favorite summer to fall pieces. Those key transitional pieces that you can actually start wearing now, but that will take you right into fall. And I know fall is not a word that a lot of you want to hear right now, but we are heading in that direction. I already started seeing all the pre-fall collections online and in store, and I'm really excited. Fall is my favorite season when it comes to fashion, all the layering and the textures, and I just love it. But for now, if you are starting to think about your fall wardrobe and you are maybe not sure which pieces will be good to invest in and that will be really versatile, then this is a good place to start. I will add a checklist at the end as well, and I've got four categories. So I've got tops, bottoms, jackets, and then shoes. So starting with tops, my first one is a ribbed racer style tank top. Now you might think, okay, this is a really summery piece, and yes it is. So it's great to wear now on its own on those hot, hot summer days with shorts or with trousers um, or even midi skirts, but this is a great layering piece as we head into fall. You'll be able to layer this under basically all of the jackets that I'm gonna show you, and it's just such a useful piece. Um, and it's great for those days where it's kind of hot and cold and you need something to throw over your shoulders, but sometimes it's hot and you want to take that off, then you have this on and it's just a great basic to have. I have it in a few colors and this is basically a three season piece for me. I wear this spring, summer and fall, so it's a really great one to have. The next top is probably my favorite and that is a classic white t-shirt. So this one is slightly relaxed, um, not too fitted and it's not see-through, so really good quality. I have two of these from Massimo Dutti and I'm going to add a few more to my full wardrobe, maybe a really oversized voluminous one and then maybe one with a shoulder pad. But I just find a white t-shirt to be really, really versatile. Obviously, you can style it for a casual outfit, but you can just as easily wear it for a more dressy look, um, for that nice contrast between casual and dressy. So I just love my white t-shirts. I wear them on their own now. I actually just posted a reel on a white t-shirt and jeans, um, like styling, five different looks. And I absolutely love it on its own, but it's just as great a layering piece as the tank top under all of the jackets that I'm going to show you. So if you don't already own a great white t-shirt, definitely, definitely add one to your full wardrobe. The last top that I think is a great piece to have for kind of now heading into full is a button-up shirt. Um, so the one I'm wearing is a perfect example of that. Now, this is actually a linen blend, but definitely a lot more cotton than linen because it has some nice structure. So if you're looking to add a button-up shirt or a few button-up shirts to your kind of end of summer fall wardrobe, I would avoid going for 100% linen just because that just feels and looks very summery. So either go for a linen cotton blend that has a lot of structure that you can't really tell if it's linen or go for a cotton poplin shirt. But I just find button-up shirts are just one of those amazing wardrobe pieces that I just find so many different ways of styling. So this is a great little lightweight cover-up for now over the tank top if it gets chilly, but you can just as easily button it up, tuck it in to trousers like I have done and now. Um, also great to wear under like blazers or trench coats, but I think it's just a really chic piece. Um, it's a bit more elevated and dressy than a t-shirt and a tank top. So on those days where you want to feel a bit more polished, then I think a button-up shirt is a great option. And you don't have to go for stripes. I just love the black and white stripes. I feel it's really striking. But you can definitely go for a solid color as well. But I would stick to those versatile neutrals like blue, white, black, brown, tan, um, even a blue and white stripe. Um, something that will really transition well into fall. Next up, we have bottoms. So I'm going to start with the 
pair that I think a lot of you already have in your wardrobes and that is a pair of classic blue denim now these are a straight leg and they're a full length I think if you're looking to add a pair of jeans to your end of summer fall winter wardrobe then I would go for a full length as opposed to an ankle length or crop um, I think you'll just get a lot more wear out of a full length one you can still wear it with sneakers ballet flats loafers um, but it has that added length so it will look great with boots as well with some ankle boots and it will be practical so it will keep your ankles warm when the weather cools down significantly so this is just a really classic pair it's from Zara that I've had for probably three years now um, no distressing no rips just a really classic pair of blue denim jeans which I wear so much during fall then we have a pair of tailored trousers um, so I actually specifically did not pick a pair of black tailored trousers because yes it is end of summer heading into fall but I tend to wear a lot of black during fall and winter and I feel like having a lighter colored tailored trouser just makes it feel less fall wintery. Um, so I went with this beautiful like beigey, um, yeah like a beigey color. It still doesn't read high summer um, but it's just a lighter neutral to pair with other like darker pieces like a black blazer or some black loafers um, but you can definitely do a black tailored trouser as well I think having a pair of jeans which is a more casual piece and then having a pair of tailored trousers those are basically the only styles of pants you really really need and of course going into variations with color um, but I just find that I wear my tailored trousers so so often during fall and I actually prefer wearing the tailored trousers for a more casual look styled with sneakers because they just look a bit more polished than a pair of jeans does um, so yes definitely a pair of tailored trousers is a must and I actually wore this the other day also styled it in a reel with the racerback tank top for a summery look so just goes to show that these pieces are evergreen and kind of all season appropriate um, because I am styling them now but will definitely be wearing them right into fall the last bottom that I want to share is a midi skirt now I picked a satin midi skirt because it's just a really versatile piece um, and I know a lot of people don't love the denim skirts although I think they're still going to be really big for fall and winter styled with knee-high boots but a satin midi skirt is just really wearable this one is from Mango that I got recently I own it in two colors black and brown and it's a really great year-round piece um, and you can style this actually with the white t-shirt as well as with the tank top and you can style it with the tank top and this button-up shirt just open over it but it's just a really nice piece on those days when you don't want to wear a pair of trousers so I think a midi skirt is a really useful piece to have to, to wear now obviously but definitely into fall as well then on to jackets. So I've got four styles that I want to show you. And the first one is a cardigan. So not really a jacket, although I do classify it as a sort of a jacket because it's something like an additional layer that you need. And I actually have worn this a few times during summer. We haven't really had a hot, hot summer year in Toronto. So there were a few chilly days where I wanted to just add a cardigan for an extra bit of warmth. Um, but these cardigans, these Chanel inspired cardigans were really big at the beginning of the season and they're still going strong. Um, and I just love the gold button detail, feels very elevated. Again, you don't have to go for stripes, you can do just a solid color. But I think having at least one cardigan, it also doesn't have to be cropped like this one. If you love an oversized cardigan that's slightly longer, by all means that is amazing as well but I think a cardigan is a really useful one to have obviously a lot less 
structure than a jacket like a blazer for instance but I think it just looks really really chic styled with the jeans or with the tailored trousers the next jacket is a trench coat and I wear my trench coats so so much and this one is actually more for fall I would say than for now because this is a wool blend still really lightweight this one is from Goelia I just love the drape of it I love the flowiness of it so it's it's not too heavy but the wool will give you a bit bit of warmth um, so if you're looking at adding a trench coat to your wardrobe now to only start wearing I want to say like end of September then I would consider going for something that maybe is a wool blend or has a bit of wool in it because it will just give you added warmth and this is great if you live in a place like Canada where it tends to start getting cool really really quickly um, but if not you can definitely go for a cotton trench coat but I just wanted to mention a trench coat in general because it's a really really great piece to have obviously you don't only have to wear it when it rains but it is really practical when it does and I just love this color um, this is like a typical trench coat color this brownie taupe color and I just think it really adds something to an outfit then where a denim jacket is kind of my spring transition jacket then a leather jacket is my full equivalent of that so this one I've had for probably four or five years and I've worn it so so much this one is actually more of a fitted style and I just ordered one that is slightly more oversized and relaxed and I think you just never can go wrong with a leather jacket you can wear it with the jeans with the tailored trousers with the midi skirt um, just adds a nice bit of edge to an outfit and it also adds some warmth so um, this won't be for everyone if you don't love a leather jacket it's too edgy maybe for your personal style um, you don't have to add one to your wardrobe but I think it's just a great one to have um, as an alternative to say a blazer or even a trench coat so um, Definitely a leather jacket is on my list of pieces to have for heading into fall. Then, of course, we have a blazer. And it's no secret that I just love a good blazer. So I wanted to add my black one on the list because this is by far my most worn and most versatile one. But I think if you stick to like a neutral color beige or a beautiful like olivey taupey green color or even gray, I think any of those neutrals will work really, really well. You can start wearing them now. I've worn my black blazer right throughout summer um, and they will really, really do you well as we head into fall. And this is definitely more of a dressy option compared to the trench coat and the leather jacket because it has tailoring and it has structure so this is just a great one in general if you want to have a bit more of a polished and dressed up look then onto shoes now i am still wearing a lot of sandals but if we are thinking of shoes that you can wear now but as the weather cools down as well then i would definitely go for closed toe shoes so i have three recommendations here that are really classic and timeless pieces that you can actually wear year round obviously maybe not in winter if it gets really cold where you live um, but just great pairs of shoes that are really versatile and that you can style for a lot of different occasions so first up is a pair of ballet flats or mary janes um, they are having a moment this year and they're still going really strong into fall and winter so these are a pair that i got actually I want to say end of winter I've worn them so so much and these are definitely more of a Mary Jane and um, it has a bit more structure than a ballet flat but it's just such a great pair of shoes and I'm actually thinking of adding a pair of black ballet flats to my wardrobe as well because I know just how much wear I've gotten out of these and I feel like there are occasions where I want more of a dainty ballet flat as opposed to these Mary Janes but I think this is option number one for a good summer to fall shoe 
Then option number two is a pair of loafers. Now, I must just mention, you don't have to have the Mary Janes and the loafers. You can do either or. Um, if, say for instance, loafers are not your style, but the Mary Janes are, go for them. But I do find that they serve a different purpose. So I get a completely different look and feel from my outfits when I style them with a pair of loafers with versus with a pair of Mary Jane. So just keep that in mind. But you can never go wrong with a pair of classic loafers. I just quickly grabbed my black pair because again, it's one of the most versatile pairs in my wardrobe, but you can do any color. Whichever neutral suits your wardrobe, go for that. The same with any of the pieces that I showed you. I showed pretty much a neutral color palette here. Um, but go for any neutral that works with your wardrobe because that means it'll be really easy to mix and match. But yes, a um, pair of loafers you can never go wrong with. And then a pair of sneakers. Now this is probably my most worn pair of shoes or style of shoes in my wardrobe. And I really wear it for all four seasons. The only time I don't wear my sneakers if it is if it's snowing outside and it's really icy but apart from that i just love my sneakers because they're comfortable and practical for walking around in the city not to mention at the moment um they are really big and they have been for quite a few years now so they add nice street style casual element to an outfit and gone are the days where you only wear sneakers with your gym outfit or really really casual outfit you can style them with tailored trousers with satin midi skirts um so really play around with the casual shoes with a bit more of a dressy look i even love sneakers paired with a suit so trousers and a blazer i think it looks really really cool but i think this is a great pair of shoes to take you from now into fall and that is it from my side i will include the checklist of everything that i mentioned on the screen here so you can take a screenshot or a screen grab of it if you kind of want to reference back to it if you are starting to do some full shopping and of course i will add more pieces to the list as we get into full but i think these are great pieces to have to kind of start you off with a great full capsule wardrobe. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it really useful. Um, I know a lot of you aren't shopping for summer anymore um, and you're not yet ready to start shopping for chunky sweaters and wool coats. Um, so these pieces are perfect because they're really great transitional wardrobe must-haves. So that being said, this is the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.